We've got the main gate here and we want to show you some of the things you can do to decorate for your worship rally. Things you can do that are from other VBS that we've already had or things that you can put together very easily. And so let's just start right here in the front. Every main entrance has to have a turnstile. And so this is one that we had from previous years. It's simply made out of a base that has a PVC pipe in the top uh, going up and then one that's uh, going down. This box is what really tricks people up. This is uh, an electrical uh, junction box that you get at the home improvement store and it has these four op, uh, nuts on the side and you put the PVC pipe right onto that and put a cap on it spray painted the whole thing uh, silver and it turns really easily and so we'll have uh, printed instructions for this and you'll be able to see those in the decorating made easy book and so let's kind of talk about and destruct deconstruct this a little bit <laughs> First of all, I want you to notice that we have a pole that's going up right here, and it is actually a pole from Kingdom Capers, and then we used again in the New York uh, theme last year. And so uh, what we did was we used a yard of fabric to stretch across and then put a zip tie right here on the bottom, set it in a, in a children's uh, uh, chair, and then we use this copy paper box to make the entrance sign. All the stripes and stuff are just with duct tape and we bought the colors that are the same size or same color uh, that we see on the fabric. So whatever fabric you choose, then go ahead and do that. Now, one thing that I want to mention to you is how we put this top rail on. This rail is actually made from a downspout. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It's a vinyl uh, downspout uh, guttering that you get from uh, the home improvement store. And we used a 10 foot uh, length. And what you do is put it up here with some zip ties onto the pole, uh, kind of like we did with Saddle Ridge Ranch whenever we had the gate entrance when you come in. Put that up there. And then we put the uh, Velcro uh, sticky back tape on this and on the fabric. Now let me show you how I did that. Whenever you buy a roll of that, you want to go ahead and press it together. Let me undo this and show you. You want to go ahead and fold it over. It's a long piece of tape. Fold it over and then pull off one side to reveal the adhesive and you put that on uh, on the item that you're going to use and then go ahead and pull the rest of it off. That way, whenever you put your next piece on there, it'll always match up. This Velcro is wonderful when you're trying to assemble something. It's strong. The, the tape is a really strong glue to it and it won't come off very easily. So you're going to hear me refer to Velcro uh, in a lot of places because of, uh, of the dependability with it. Let me talk about the fence for a moment. We just used some uh, uh, plungers. We use plungers for a lot of things, so we've reused them from the previous years and set them up. They're spray painted black and then made uh, the fence post or the fence uh, pickets as well as the braces just out of a foam core uh, board that you get at the art store. Very easy to do. Make sure you have a sharp blade if you don't have a sharp blade, it has a tendency to drag and ball up and it makes a really rough edge. So make sure you have a sharp blade when you do that. The same would be true for the letters here. These letters were actually a stencil that we used from uh, the craft store as well. Here's the letter Q. We got a whole set of these and instead of using these letters, we traced these letters and use them over and over. Uh, we chose the color. It's actually a pasteboard uh, that we got at the craft store. It was two different colors. And so we just traced them on there and was able to use those uh, onto the main gate. Now let's talk about this gate for just a minute. This track, coming up with a track idea is always a little bit tricky because we tried some PVC pipe, thinking about some uh, some paint sticks that we spray painted black, but nothing would work as easy as this silver stuff. It kind of reminds me of um, bubble wrap that you would use for packing, except it's got a silver coating on it. 
This, uh, this plastic uh, coating on here is super easy to work with. You can cut it with a blade, exacto knife, super easy. We got this at the home improvement store and it's the kind of stuff like you wrap around hot water tanks or something in order to insulate it. We were able to buy a whole roll of it. There's three different sizes that I found and we use this size, it's the actual size, to be the track. So what I did was I unrolled it and then I laid a piece of a piece of um, uh, uh, poster board on there that I predetermined how big I wanted the square to be on uh, that I was going to cut out. So instead of measuring each one, I easily could eyeball it by just making a black line with a sharpie on there and cutting it with a blade. It really didn't take very long to make the track. And the beautiful thing is, is that it rolls up really tight and it stores super easy. Very lightweight. I think you'll like it a lot. But finally, I wanted to mention on the track, we used, uh, it's a pipe cover uh, insulation and it opens up. We did not pull off the adhesive backing so that it would stick, but you could do that and it would stiffen this up. We still want to be able to store it or to move it from different locations, use it in different ways, but it simply is just stuck on the edge of that. And so this would be a full piece and we just opened it up and stuck it on the edge of, of the track. So it's real easy to work with, very easy to find year round. You don't get it in just the winter months. So we got that at the home improvement store as well. All right, you'll notice we have a green turf down here and the green turf is actually from game day central when we had all of those uh, soccer fields, football fields, and then we used it again in Battery Park uh, in previous VBS. So if you still have some around, you could use that. I think this would be a great place to go ahead and have a street that's right in front of this and no better street than what we've used for the runway. We've used for uh, Times Square. It's that black Visqueen with white duct tape stripes. So if you still have some of that around, go ahead and use it. A new thing that I want to introduce you to this year happens to be right over here. It's our tree. Can Our tree is um, a different shape. This shape will be in the Decorating Made Easy book. But what we did here was I used this basic cloud shape and I spray painted this, this lighter color of green and went all around it. And then I came back with this lime colored green, more little spots, and then came back with a dark green and did the same thing, same piece of uh, fabric or same material I used cardboard that I used as a stencil. Just remember when you do any painting, if you can just remember to do a medium, a light, and a dark color of that, different shades actually, not color, but shades, then you're gonna be able to have that kind of an effect. We used a little bit of spray paint down here on this. I, we tried two different things. One is a double ply uh, cardboard sheets from the box company, and the other was a single ply, and we found so much easier to work with the double ply, and, uh, and I just, I really, uh, if you're gonna buy that and use that, go ahead and get the double, it'll be easier. They do sell triple as well. We hung it with a bungee cord, and let me say, bungee cords are our friend. The bungee cords come from the automotive section uh, at uh, Walmart or anywhere, uh, and we have a, a variety here. And I used a smaller bungee cord, and I still needed to take up space, so I just tied some knots in it, and it was able to get it a little bit smaller. Bungee cords are how we hang the backdrops. Because when you have a, a tiled ceiling like this, you can just hook onto the track and you don't have to damage your walls or do anything uh, to your walls because it'll suspend with just a couple of those. All right. Well, I want to uh, I'm going to encourage you to go ahead and start building your worship rally. Gather the materials you need. Think about the things that you're going to be using uh, from the previous years and be planning ahead to pull those out because you can build a huge and incredible gate entrance to the most incredible VBS. I think you'll do a great job.